the shop. And a viewer asked me, how do you cut stuff on your CNC machine when it's got to hang over the front and the back? I had a little boo-boo here. Let me turn the camera around. Make sure you can see what I'm talking about here. All right, so I tried to cut some holes for my washer game, and I realized the stock is too big. The reach on the CNC for that x-axis is too too short. I can't get the back hole in, but I figured out how to fix that. And it's a good opportunity for me to explain how I did it. All right, so this is the piece I ruined. I've drawn it forward to my fence so that I know that it's not cattywampus straight. And I've drove pin nails in here, here, back into here. So now I know that this thing isn't twisted. I can take my stock that I'm going to actually cut and I can do some math and calculate this. So I changed the point of origin to the center of the new stock. I drew a crosshair where each one of these end, let me get this over here, as you can see, where the end of the um, holes are going to be. One here, one back here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set that piece on, I'm trying to get your camera in there for you. I'm going to set this piece on so it runs exactly parallel on top of the piece below. I can run my fingers down through the sides and make sure that it's exactly true. That'll keep that piece from being cattywampus. Then I'm going to drive pins in here, here, and back into here. Before I do that, though, I'm going to take this CNC, and I'm going to take the spindle, which is over here a little bit, take that spindle, and I'm going to swing it over here so that I can tell where that bit will fall. Now let me do that for you. We'll drive him over. Like a so. I'm not concerned about center. I'm not concerned about, you know, the only thing I'm concerned about is that direction towards the back. Okay, that's about right. Let me lower it down a little bit so I can see better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the actual position of this bit to tell me how far that way this machine will cut. And I'm going to pull this forward forward this is kind of crazy movement but I'm going to pull it forward like this so that I can tell that that bit is definitely going to make the back side of that arc because I drew the line to show me so now I'm going to line this back up again one more thing before I do that I know that the front hole is going to be positioned over top of my fence right here I'll try and get you a little bit right here so I've gone ahead and pulled these screws just as a precautionary measure so that I don't hit that, so that end mill doesn't hit the heads of those screws if it goes in that far. But I know that by pulling this forward, like so, I'm going to move that over just a little bit more. If I pull this forward so that the back side of that or front side of that router bit is behind that line, I know for sure that this machine can reach it. Now, because I've drawn the front arch, and the front arch is not beyond the front of the machine, it's a little bit on top of my fence, I know it'll cut the front one as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and nail this down. Let me get my pin nail, and hopefully I don't knock the camera over. And I'm going to nail this directly to the fence. This is a washer game, so it's going to get covered in carpet. We don't care then that the... The nail heads will be little, little bitty nail holes that aren't going to hurt a thing. They'll get covered up. Alright, that's not going anywhere. So in order to zero this thing, now I've changed my point of origin, I think I said it, to the center of this entire board. I don't care that it's sticking off the end here. I don't care that it's sticking off down there. All this machine cares about is what I tell it. And I'm telling it that center, and from that center point, I want a hole here, here and here. So let's get that thing in the middle, zero it out, and we'll continue. You don't need to see that. You've seen it a thousand times. Now one thing I do want to point out is you can't use a touch probe to do this. you got to use the paper trick. Now I've gone ahead and got my left and right, which is your Y axis and your X axis. Now we're going to use this paper 
to get the z-axis for the height. And these are, it's just a horseshoe game. We're not, we're not talking about machinist level precision here, but we want to be close. All right, I'm going to set zero on all three now. I'm going to call that good. And I'm using a new, new computer program called Carveco, and I'm in love with it. Here's one thing that Carveco does that the previous program didn't. When I push start the first time, it will lift that spindle up so that I can put my dust collector under it, get my paper out, and start the machine. Let's see if my crazy plan works. That's one. something on your CNC that's bigger than your CNC and you get it done. Do the math, take your time, calculate it, make the program right, and you can pull it off. Anyhow, I hope you got something out of this little quick video. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment. Please subscribe, hammer the notification bell, you know the whole speech. Alright y'all, we'll catch you on the next one.